I'm Nancy Friendsley. I'm the training manager at Berkeley Humane, and today we're going to work on three tricks that are known for helping to keep your dog fit. They are spin, sit up, and roll over. These all exercise the core, and they're known as doggy pilates. I'm going to use my dog Popo here, who is platform trained, um, to demonstrate how we teach these tricks, although she knows some of them pretty well already. So we're going to start with very simple spin. So I'm gonna have Popo come up here. I'm gonna start with a treat. I'm gonna put my dog perpendicular to my body, use one hand to stir like a pot, and bring her head to her hip, okay? So start here, go to the outside, and keep it. Now with some dogs, you may have to simply do half of it. She does all of it very well. So you wanna to go to the point where you can do it with, come here. An empty hand, oops, and give the treat later, good. And where you can go spin, okay. Just go the other way, I just use my other hand. We wanna make that a really efficient donut kind of turn. Those are so much fun for your dog and they stretch that entire spine and abdominal area. The second trick is sit up. Sit pretty, some people call it. And it's pretty easy actually. You want to keep your food, I usually have two or three pieces in my hand. We want to keep our food um, right close to the dog's nose and just get a tiny little bit of rising up. Ah, good, there you go. Ready? Ah, good, there you go. Ah. Now to make that a little easier um, and, and more durable, we want to bring it up and whoop, get it a little longer. So as my dog is able to balance, I'm going to move my hand a little further away. I'm gonna to go to an empty hand. Good. And then to a little more distance. Sit up. Good girl, very nice. All right, the third trick, very, very good for your dog's stretching. You can teach it in both directions. It's called roll over. We start with a down, okay? And what we want to do is get our dog's head toward the hip. So I wanna bring her head toward her shoulder, good. And maybe just that part, so I get my dog to flop over. And that may, that may be harder than you think, just to get your dog to flop over a little bit. They have to figure out how to do this. Now I'm gonna to try to get her a little further over. Oh, good. So she used me to get a little help, and that's okay. We can fade that out over time. And try it one more time. Down piece, here, and good, okay. I'm giving her a little good, or I can give her my little yip each and every time. So that are, those are the three tricks that you can teach your dog at home while you're stuck at home and have a good time doing it. They're harder than you think, and so you have to remember to take them piece by piece.